Hey, what up, y'all? Uh, of course, you can see the white and semen box, which means that I guess everybody's giving these the name of Oreos now. And uh, what I want to do is go inside, of course, look inside of the lid, see if I have any stamps. And then you see the paper. You got that uh, cement splatter paper on the inside. And um, there's another layer of white paper underneath. And I'm trying to pick up this box so I can look and see if there's a stamp on here. And uh, typically, you know, sometimes you will have a red stamp for these shoes. There's no Nike Air on the back, or obviously they would have cost 220 probably because um, I think the fours with Nike Air on the back, they're over there. I need to go over there and do a comparison so you can see it. For people saying Oreo, I don't know why they call them the Oreo. I mean, they look like they could have been a shoe that was released in 89, right? They actually look like they look like an OG kind of colorway. The leather is nice too. The leather is not bad. You can touch it and it's soft to the touch. And it looks a little tumbled in different places, but you got the OG, which isn't the OG, but you got the Jumpman. Uh, once they stopped using the Nike Air and they started putting the Jumpman on the back, I really got comfortable seeing the Jumpman more than seeing the Nike Air, but that's neither here nor there. What I'm going to do is make sure you guys get a good look at the shoe. I'm pulling the flap down so you can notice that there's nothing behind the flap. And of course, you have your nine blocks there at the back. And I want you to see the embroidery here on the tongue. And then the back of the tongue has the Air Jordan. It's always upside down on that. Uh, I like the five. Uh, I'm going to pull this shoe insert out because I want you to see the shoe insert as well. So 13, 14. And that way you can see the shoe insert. Right? And I'm just trying to make sure you have a good grasp on what the shoe looks like on the inside. Let's see if we can get the angle right and get some light there so you can see that. It's a red jump man. It's gray on the inside. The sock liner is gray. And the uh, I'm gonna put this back on the inside. I'll take both of the shoes out in a minute so you can look at them at the same time. But what I'll do also, pull that out, slap this uh, top back on this, on here, and sit that down. Because I want those to sit there so you can see them. And I'll go ahead and read the label to you so you guys can have it. And I'll look a little darker because the shoe is white and it takes all the light away from the camera. It's the Air Jordan 4 Retro. It's white, fire red, tech gray, black is what it says on the label. And then the French is underneath. Uh, the SRP is only $190. It didn't get a bump up in price, which is good. Um, the style code is CT8527100. This is a size 13. The UPC, yours should be exactly the same if you have a size 13. I'm a size 13. Obviously, I get everything in my size just in case I don't sell it or something like that. I'll, I'll keep it. And my son also wears a 13, so he can keep it. You know, but I really do love the quality of that fold on the shoe. That thing is perfectly round all the way, which is really nice to see because... A lot of the times the knockoffs will have ridges. If you see ridges on this thing, you got something that's faulty. I need to run to the car because I got multiple 13s. Of course I did the one to rock, one to stop. I love force. I love force. The twos are my favorite, but I love force. And um, if I keep these, I may keep them. I'm not supposed to be buying a whole bunch of shoes right now, but I just love this shoe. So I got two 13s. But, um, Let's get to the UPC because that UPC for a size 13, yours should be exactly the same as mine. It's not going to be a difference. You got that? All right. So the UPC is 194-956-852-148. And there's a 16 at the end. Now, typically, well, the first thing I do when I'm doing, when I'm checking the shoes, I make sure I go and double check my UPC on the inside of the shoe and I go straight to the 148 and 148. Uh, the small code at the top on here is VW1, and that's made in Vietnam. The dates of production for this shoe, 1202-22-2221. Wow, and I still add five months, so that's about right. It's not like that's a long time, 
that's not a long time. So I can't, I can't act like that's a long time as far as the shipping that it takes to get across because we want to look at three months typically. So if that second date is 2-22-21, we're looking at May when that shoe should possibly be released. It'll be in the States and it should be going out to the wholesale accounts. So we're looking at around May. And because of the slowdown in the supply chain, it's June, July. This is July the 3rd, 2nd? 3rd? Yeah, 3rd, because the 4th of July is tomorrow. So we have that information. But the lines on this shoe are almost perfect. And I remember the fake shoes had widow's peaks at the toe box. They had widow's peaks at the toe box. And they had like uh, widow's peaks, those little triangle kind of cut. That was one of the ways you could always tell if the four was fake because the fakes were so good. The only thing you could catch was if they had these weird notches on them. And these things, the lines on this shoe are crispy, man. And straight out of the box, you have a little bit of a crease. Um, on this one, on the left shoe, you have a little bit of a crease right here. But that, you know, comes from trying to shoe on, and I did try it on. But I know if 13s fit me out, and I didn't have to do that. Um, let me put that on the side so you can see the bottom. And you can compare it to yours. It's a long video, man. I apologize for taking so long with this. But I know it's one of those shoes that when people look at it, they want to be positive about what they're seeing. So... No QC stamps, no QC stickers on the inside of this box. I should go out and get to the other 13 and double check and make sure, but uh, I'm not. I'll leave that alone. And I'm going to wrap this video up because that's really a long video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.